What's up, YouTube? My name is Equagan. You call me EK. I stream daily at twitch.tv slash Equagan. If you have any questions, don't forget to check out my Twitter, the Discord, and the TikTok that's slowly growing over time. Um, in today's video, we're going to go over the Brigand's Law sidearm. I've been able to craft it. It's, it's taken me a while to kind of level up all the different weapons uh, so I can make videos for. But I feel like this is one of those juicers that I wanted to talk about. It's... Pretty good sidearm is really good for ad clearing. I don't know how well this is going to do in endgame. You might need to add a few things, maybe even fonts of might. But currently, if things are at level, this thing actually shreds. Um, and let's go over what the weapon can get before I actually show you what I put on it. Okay. So here are the options for the weapon. You have a bunch of different things. You even have Pugilist here. I think someone was talking about that with Swashbuckler. I see Volt Shot, which was one of the first things that I was like, oh, this item gets it, but I don't know if I'm going to kill enough in order to practice. Um, but then I saw Feed and Frenzy, and this is also a rapid fire frame. All right. I know that Demolitionist is also here, but Demolitionist, I feel like, should have been in the maybe in the first slot, not the second for when it comes to traits. But once again, I'm not a huge fan of Demolitionist on primaries because even if you have enhanced demo, you still need eight kills. And you can probably proc that here if you're running Volshot. So my setup for the Brigand's Law is basically max range. Why am I going max range? Sidearms don't have range. That's something that they lack, right? So I went with range. I went with full board. I went with Acurize. If you're on controller, you don't have to go full board. You can go Hammer Forge. You're going to lose five range, and that's completely fine. Okay? I went with Feed and Frenzy. And the reason why I went with Feed and Frenzy is because I'm going for Volt Shot. And you'll notice with Volt Shot, if you proc it and you kill, them, if you, if you kill a target, more than likely you're going to be killing two to three targets, meaning your Feed and Frenzy is going to go up right away. Right? So it's one of these things that kind of go well together. The neat thing about this too is as soon as the Volt Shot goes out, and you kill, you can just reload to get back to that Volt Shot. So the whole concept here is to kill, get Volt Shot, use that Volt Shot, reload right away, and keep you're, you're just keeping up your Volt Shots. And Volt Shots are really, they're really freaking nifty, and I'm going to show that here pretty shortly. Now, right hook, dealing melee damage with this weapon gives an increased target acquisition and range for a short period of time. So there are times where I run around, especially if I'm running on my Arc Hunter, right, I get combination blow going, and then I put, you know, I bring out this bad boy, and the range goes up a little bit more. Now, frenzy is just one of those fun things. Mind you, with this combo, you don't need to make it enhance. I put on enhance because it gives me like another second. So I was like, why not? I go from about 5.5 seconds to about seven seconds of old shot before I can shoot it. Why not? Okay. So my frame is range, full bore, accurize, feed and frenzy, full shot. Now let's see this thing in action. So, I take out this thrall and boom, I have Volt Shot. I shoot it out and you, as you can see, I'm at Feed and Frenzy times five right away. You see that? So the whole goal is to basically get Volt Shot and then spread it. And boom, I have it for another six seconds. And the range seems to be about 15 meters for the spread. It's just like running around with a Titan Doom Marcher set up, except you don't have Doom Marchers. And as you can see here, the chaining is just insane. So I was running around, I was doing some expeditions, and I've just been enjoying this roll a lot. Especially when you jolt the target, you can just spread it out. Here we go. Watch this. See that like that whole group just, just got this thing you know they just got messed up right and feeding frenzy at five you can notice that the feeding frenzy just kept picking up right now once again i don't know how this is gonna tally up an end game but i'm sure a lot of you don't always do everything in end game right not even i do everything in end game so if there's something at light or even a little bit above it i feel like if i run this with fonts it might it might work really well once again, I will test it out in the future. And if anyone has questions, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Um And maybe in the future, we'll get like, you know, Sidem as Unstop or something like that so I can test it out even further. But this is a great ad clearing machine, especially if you go into this week's uh, strike. I believe it's Arkburn. So there it is. That is my review of the Brigand's Law. And what I like on it is pretty solid. I've been enjoying it. So if you're out there 
and you're a Sodom enjoyer, there you go. Now, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And once again, if you want to see my videos come up right on your feed, make sure when you click on notifications, you change it from personalized to all. And that's it. See you on the next one. Deuces.